Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. And I sure do look quite a bit different, don't I? Yes, I do. Yeah, this is a nice little feature of this, uh, the mod that allows me to, you know, that gives me the tilts and the, and the bobs back and forth once I'm moving. I can also nod my head up and down, which is really, it's kind of funny. Listen, okay, it's the little things in life that bring me joy, all right? I can't be the only one out there that's like that, okay? But anyways, like I said, welcome back to the Calamity Mod, and my god, I look quite a bit different. Um, I've got a whole lot of new stuff. Whole bunch of new weapons, okay? A whole bunch of new armor, and a, a litany, I, I think is the right word to use, of super powerful weaponry. Uh, basically, what I did was I dealt with all of the post-devour of gods events off camera. And I know, I know it, I know, I get it. You don't want to miss out on that really super duper high octane, extraordinarily engaging content. I understand the ability to see the frost moon, pumpkin moon, and solar eclipse with no new enemies at all whatsoever and nothing at all in any way, shape, or form changed except for a few damage numbers and health values is something that you just can't pass up. Don't worry, I recorded it for you and I'm gonna show you how it went. So first things first, we took care of the solar eclipse. It was the first one on the list, so I figured why not take care of it first. And my god, it was excruciatingly challenging. I almost had to try, and I mean that's saying a lot, because whoa, I never have to try. Then after I took care of that, I went ahead and I did the pumpkin moon, the next one on the list, the only logical step, and now this one just was a huge step up, okay? I really had to mix up my gameplay here. I really had to draw my inner gamer spirit and energy and push forward to try to conquer this immeasurable task. But I did it, of course, because I'm ball man and I can do anything. But then the real challenge came with the frost moon, the final one on the list. And my god, that was about it for me. That was almost the end of my entire YouTubing career because the level of complexity that this event added to my playstyle is something that I will never forget. The master was schooled, I will admit it, quite an experience, but we took care of that business nonetheless, and my god, that was a nightmare from hell, let me tell you. But I'm glad it's over with now because now that we've dealt with that extraordinarily unique, one-of-a-kind, and exciting content that no other mod could ever compete with, I have gotten my ocean of new equipment and new powerful items and accessories and I couldn't be more excited about it. So here's the deal, normally I go over a lot of the stuff that I get off camera just to kind of explain what I get, but this is the first time that I've pretty much replaced every piece of armor, every accessory, and every weapon that I have. So I'm not gonna do that. What I'm actually gonna do is just go over things very briefly. So first things first, we got the God Slayer set. I don't really particularly know if I like it as much as the Blood Flare set. Um, I kind of like the ability to have that little bit of extra healing. Plus, I think this has less defense, just to, just to looking at it here. I'm not 100% sure. Still gives me a good boost to life though. Uh, the, the set bonus is kind of interesting. Full HP, all your rogue stats are boosted by 10%. If you take over 80 damage in one hit, you'll be given extra immunity frames, which is nice. Pretty good stealth. The main gimmick is that you get this dash, okay? And it basically, you get super zoom in powers. You can blast across the cosmos, and it's very exciting and all kinds of fun. It, it's, it's okay, it's okay, all right? It's not that exciting, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like, it's like a Shield of Cthulhu dash. I don't know what it is about just this mod and wanting to give me so many different pieces of equipment that give me the same ability. I don't know, I don't know, I don't get it, I don't know. But it's in there and that's kind of neat. So we got that on. We've upgraded our boots to the Elysian Tracers. I'll just kind of do it like this. I'll show y'all what I need because as you know from those different events, we got all of those different powerful energies there. Nightmare Fuel from the Pumpkin Moon, Endothermic Energy from the Frost Moon, and the Dark Sun Fragment from the Solar Eclipse. Use that to make the Ascended Spirit Essence, which is used to craft a great many things here. So we got these Elysian Tracers, it's the upgrade for the Seraph Tracers. Next up we got the Eclipse Mirror, which is a combination of the Abyssal Mirror and the Dark God Sheath, with some Dark Sun Fragments. Basically gives me the effects of both. Leave that up there for you to read if you're interested. We got the Sponge, which is the upgraded form of the Absorber, with a couple of Draedonic doodads and some Cosmolite bars, so basically it's just all Draedonic stuff, because I think he's the one that gave the Devourer of Gods their armor in the first place, so technically Cosmolite bar is Draedonic stuff, it, whatever. It's from Draedon. 
This is really cool. Gotta have that on right there. Then we've got the Core of the Blood God, which is a combination of Flesh Totem and the Blood Pact. Healing Potion's more effective, has contact damage. I mean, boost to max HP. It, it's really nice stuff. You gotta have this stuff on. It's really good for survivability. I also have the Amalgam, which I kind of keep as more of an offensive accessory. Extends the duration of potion bust by 100%. Doesn't really do any good for me with Fargo's on, but if, you know, if I wasn't, I'd be pretty excited about that. Of course, increase the damage, shade rain down, ability to dodge attacks. It's basically the amalgamated brain with um, what looks like a little bit of everything crammed together. To be honest with you, I didn't really look at the recipes for this stuff. Just kind of click buttons, and uh, that was about it. Then we've got the Nanotech, which is a good rogue item right here. It is a, a fusion of like every hard mode rogue accessory. Just does a whole bunch of roguey rogue stuff. Big damage, armor penetration, all kinds of good stuff there. Gotta love it. Bonus to crits for stealth strikes and whatever. All kinds of good stuff there. Of course, we've got the Asgardian Aegis, which is something that I've wanted for a very long time. It's a very good shield. Still gives me the same buffs that I can get from the Elysian Aegis with, uh, I guess, some immunity there, some extra defense and liquids and all that good stuff from the Asgard's Valor. Really good stuff. And then we've got the Rampart of the Deities, which is an upgraded form of the Deific Amulet and the Frozen Shield. Basically, gives you a fusion of those two. So I got a lot of uh, defensive accessories on right now. It's kind of what I got going for me right now. Because when in doubt, you should just be able to get punched in the face a thousand times and keep on kicking. And that's kind of how I like to play. But then, of course, I also have the Occult Skull Crown, which is really hard for me to not equip because I love this thing so much. It is a combination of the Heart of Darkness, Laudanum, and Stress Pills with some Nightmare Fuel, extending the duration of Rage and doesn't fade when in combat. It grows constantly, which is really nice, and it makes Adrenaline Charge much faster, so I actually, you know, get to use it, which is really exciting. So I kind of have a, an offensive setup and a defensive setup. I pretty much use strict defense for boss fights, just because, you know, they tend to be a little bit on the challenging side. Well, not so much challenging as unforgiving, but, you know, I like to uh, be able to take a punch, because I definitely, uh, whether I want to take one or not, boy, oh boy, am I going to get one. So with that out of the way, let's look at the weaponry now. So I've got the hypothermia, which just rapid fire ice shards. It's very nice. They bounce off of walls. Kind of cool there. It's made out of all the uh, endothermic energy there. Next up, we got the Mighty Plasma Grenade, which I will tell you absolutely, completely, and totally decimates the Devourer of God. Look at that, big explosions. It's a bit anticlimactic compared to the Wave Pounder, but, you know, big damage, so, you know, that's pretty nice. We've got the Penumbra, which is really nice. It uh, throws a Shadow Bomb that explodes into Homing Souls. If you have a Stealth Attack, it gives you that little bit of... Uh, kind of spawns at your cursor, otherwise it just kind of goes out there. And we've got the Eclipse's Fall, which is an item that I actually totally forgot about because it was crafted out of an item that I forgot about, the Knight's Gauge. Did you guys know that I could make this out of the Daybreak and Luminel, Ruin of Souls and all that? Did you know that I could make this thing? Because I sure didn't. It's just a spear. You throw the spear and it does spear things. You hit the target with the spear and then it makes spears fall out of the sky and then they get speared, you know, whatever. Probably not going to use it at all because I'm not that big of a fan of it. But anyways, that's finally everything. I think I have no idea. We're going to find out if I forgot something because you guys are probably going to let me know. Be like, Mr. Ballman, you know, he had the thing equipped and you didn't say anything. But yeah, well, listen, a shish. Thank you. But anyways, now that that's done and over with, we got to move on down here because we finally have a couple of things we got to place up there. I forgot about the mauler. I just realized that. That's so disappointing. Whatever, we'll deal with that eventually. First things first, we got the old dupe trophy to place down. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to guess that's a wing. Almost looked like an ear there for a second. Whatever. And then we have the Devourer of Gods trophy. Very nice. I wonder what piece of him that thing was. But with those two in, aside from Mauler down there being the uh, bit of a problem child right now, we've only got a couple of bosses left. And one of those bosses we're going to deal with today. We're going to take down Yaron. Not exactly sure how long that's going to take. If it's going to be as mind-numbingly frustrating as the Devourer of Gods, or if he's going to be an absolute pushover, and uh, it's not going to be any problem at all. I have no idea. So we've got the Blurst Phoenix Egg, which is crafted of effulgent, eff, efful, effulgent feathers and life alloy and an ancient manipulator. So I've been able to make this guy for a very long time, but there's no chance that I could have ever successfully fought him. So, you know, that's neat. So I've got a massive pile of equipment and a whole bunch of new weapons and accessories that I think I'm not really going to have any problems with this guy. But then again, you never know. I have no idea. We're just going to try a couple of things out. We'll probably just more or less experiment with the new items here. See what can do what. And, uh, you know, it'll be a good time either way. Okay, hang on a second. Settle yourself down a little bit, okay? All of you plague monsters, your time is over now. Don't I know it's been a while and it's really confusing to keep up with what stage of content or what tier we're on right now because it doesn't stick around for very long. 
Well, let's move on right now. Deal with this. I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't even look like my feet are on the ground. I just noticed that. Is that just me? Has it always been like that? Looks like I'm not even standing on the ground anymore. It's kind of weird looking now that I look at it. Anyways, I'm distracted. Now here we go. Let's call forth the blessed Phoenix Egg and the Pirates have arrived. Why? I really gotta keep you in my pocket. All right, we're all good to go down here again. Let us call forth the Blessed Phoenix Egg and bring forth Yaron, Dragon of Rebirth. Oh, God, I've exploded. Ah, okay. So I took a little bit of the damage there. Uh, it looks like I inflicted a bit of the damage there as well, though. So what do we got going on here? Let's throw out some of the uh, the God's Paranoia. They're the Death Balls. We'll throw that out, and then I'll, I'll bring forth the power of the Hypothermia. Oh, there's the fireballs there. Okay, so we got Spicy Duke Fishron is what this guy is. That's what I think I kind of sort of remember him being. Not really taking a whole lot of damage, but then again, I don't really know what's going on right now. I remember the fireballs, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we got a little bit of a bullet hell phase. Okay, I don't really remember this guy very much. I don't fight him very often. About the Dark God's paranoia again. That seems to be doing a good bit of damage to him. Maybe I should kind of stick around with that. Oh God, okay, What what is this business right now? Oh my God. I, okay, so this is where I die. Yeah. That did a good bit of damage to him, though, it looked like. The Flawless God's Paranoia. Okay, we're gonna give that a try, see how it goes. Wait a minute, hold on a second now. Do I not actually have to summon this guy in the jungle anymore? Wait a minute, can I just summon this guy anywhere? Oh my god, yes I can. What? Hold on a second. He just enrages outside the firewalls. But well, I didn't know that... It, that uh, huh? I mean, that saves me a lot of trouble. I thought he exclusively had to be fought inside of the jungle. But they changed that. Okay, I'm just so used to going over there to fight him. Oh, we got adrenaline. We actually got adrenaline. My God, I didn't think I was ever going to get that on this guy. I don't even have the special fancy thing on. Oh, that's incredible. He is already halfway dead. Is there going to be a, um, a, a what's it called phase? A who's a what's it phase? The air is going to get warmer around me soon. Yes. Or is that that, that used to be a, he used to be split into two separate phases, I think. Oh, God, I don't like this. Wait a minute. He's got a pretty strong telegraph for when he's about to do his charge. Oh, there we go. The air is getting warmer around me. Oh, God, he's homing. What? I wasn't expecting that. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting into the tunes right now. We're jamming. Still kind of getting my butt kicked here a little bit, but I'm also kind of uh, kicking his a little bit. I don't know. I don't think this is going to be as bad, but I don't think it's going to be a uh, spectacular time either. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that at all. Oh, I got a heal there. Okay, I was good. Not worried about it anymore. Oh god, there's a lot of these. Oh my god, his contact damage is pretty, uh, bazoinga. I have no idea. That's that's just the first word that pops into my head. I don't know. I'm just not even attacking him enough. I, I just need to do more of the damage. Instead of worrying about dodging, I just need to hit him. Because I'm basically kicking the guy's butt. I mean, I'm not kicking his butt, okay? Like, I'm, I'm doing okay. Oh god, ah, oh, wow. I didn't even try to dodge any of that. That's remarkable. Oh wow, I had to heal again. Whoa. This is a message to my master, uh, the FPS frame drop. Why? What is going on? Ah, oh, God, the big, so many fireballs, man. I Listen, I am fireball man, okay? Oh, God, you're over there now. You're behind me. Please just stand in the way of my damage so that I can kill you, please. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, you just need to stand still for just a second longer so that the damage can get you. Come on. Maybe a little bit more direct attack is necessary. If I get adrenaline, you're done for. You best just die now. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, and there we go. That was so perfectly timed. Did you hear that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was so great. I don't think I could have done that twice if I tried. My God, he was easy, too. That is ridiculous. He was, that is, you know, I, I remember him actually being a pretty reasonable challenge, but, uh, yeah, he was a pushover. Yeah, he, that's <laughs> That was, um, yeah, I don't really know how to feel about that. Compared to the Devourer of Gods, he was an absolute breeze. Also, uh, God's Paranoia kind of kicks his butt. I wonder why. Attaches to enemies and summons a localized storm of God Slayer Kunai. Oh. And it kind of homes a little bit. Okay, that's kind of cool. Well, whatever. That's neat. All right, well, that's the end of that, I guess. Guess I had a good setup as well. What else did it say? Ancient Draconic Power manifests in the caverns. Okay, uh, well, what's going on here? Oh, hello, bandit. What are you doing down here? You shouldn't be here. This isn't where I put you. Hello? What is it you have that is new dragon scales? Immunity to dragon fire, 10 plus max run speed and acceleration, stealth strikes create infernados. Rogue projectiles create slow fireballs as they travel. Only a living dragon holds true treasure. 
What if, what if I have a, a fast attack? Oh. Oh, now that is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like that. That's kind of anticlimactic. But with this guy, what's this? I see. Now, but this is, this is kind of nice. I like this. It's cool. I like that. Oh, wow. That is, oh, that's cool. I like, okay, listen, this, this could be fun. I don't know that I'm actually gonna use it, but that could be fun. Just buy a couple of treasure bags right now because I know I'm already going to need them. Let us open them up and see what there is inside of him to drop for me. All right, we got the burning sky. Don't need that. Wow, that is a lot of the damage. Okay, ancient demon shade set. That's kind of cool. Huh, I remember this sprite. I always like that. Nugget and a biscuit. Indeed. So now I have nugget. Basically that thing that was my pet. Terma pebbles. Used to craft the terminus themed vanities. Interesting. Terminus shrines. Oh, and I need the rock for that. Wings of Termina. You need the rock for that. That's kind of cool. Or Terminal Face Mask. Huh. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, we'll hold on to that. Wraith Wing. Oh, wow. Okay. That is really cool looking. What is this? An agile homing wing spear that constantly spits fire. Well, sign me up. Create an eruption of cinders on hit. It looks like it travels through solid material. Fox Drive. I think I remember that. Just gives me a fox. Yarim's Gift. 30 defense, the power of a god. Flame meteorites rain down after getting hit. Dragon Dust is left behind you as you move. Damage movement speed increased by 15%. That is really nice. Drew's Wings. Of course, we got those already. Celestial Tracers were on the move with that already. Not as uh, impressive, unfortunately. I thought these were more um, spectacular. That's okay, though. Lethal Final Dawn. Ride into the sunrise once more. Giant Scythe to replenish stealth. Oh, I gotta charge it up. Oh. Press up and attack to throw the scythe. Oh, cool. Okay, looks like it takes a little bit of skill with this thing, but it uh, might not be too bad, I guess. The sprites for the Yarm weapons are really cool. Yarm's crystal, that is awesome. Got a nice resprite there. I can use it for all of three seconds, but that's cool to look at. There's the soul fragments as well. Use that to craft all of the stuff and things. Forgotten dragon egg, interesting. Summons Akato, son of Yarm to your side. Oh, well, of course, I would love to have that little fireball guy there. It's awesome. All right, any more rogue stuff? We can check this right here. Doesn't really look like it. There's the soul stuff, McNuggets. There's the relic, the trophy, of course. We'll never see that thing. Well, we will eventually. Rogue, rogue. No more rogue. That is it. Rover spindle. Huh, okay. Well, I got all that stuff taken care of. Got a few things inside of the void vault there. Well, not really a few things. All right, let's head back down, drop some of the stuff and the things off. See what all I can craft now. Also, it looks like the, uh... Yaron soul fragments really aren't useful for anything for me, aside from just making the auric bars. I can make the dragon fruit. I think I have the ability to make that thing now. Don't I? Yes, I do. There we go, we'll make that. We now have finally fully upgraded our health. That is it, I think that is all that I'm able to get here. Dragon soul die, auric soul artifact. I think it's a summon thing for each fiery dragon. Did you have summoned, you gain one minion slot. Okay, that's not really something that I need. The Wand, Dragon Pow, and Dreytaliornis, one of the best uh, ranger weapons in the mod, I believe. Unless it was changed recently. There we go, I can't really craft anything else right now. That's pretty much it. I've made all I could make until I can go down and get all the Orc Tesla stuff. Well, that was actually relatively uh, quick. Did not take very long to get through that. So, um, I think I'm going to head down here, upgrade the new rogue weapons that I got. And while I'm down here, I'm going to take a peek around for some uh, Orc Tesla stuff. Oh, and of course, of course, I will read the lore and see what Yarim has to say about me killing his buddy. Let's see what he has to say. Yaron Resplendent Phoenix. Oh, wow, this one's got a lot of words on it. The return of the Age of Dragons dashed. Just like that, it is but ashes in the wind. Yaron was the last of the Auric Dragons. As a phoenix, his domain of power includes rebirth. The gods thought him culled with the rest of his kind, but he returned as an egg, hidden on the airy. I was destined to consume his auric soul when he hatched, and rule forever as god king. Destiny is for the weak. I rejected their whims and upended their scheme. I was sentenced to execution for treason. Their meek, ingratiated swine cast both Yaron's egg and I into the magma of hell. That intense heat hideously scarred me, but birthed Yaron anew. He rose, wreathed in fire, and saved my life. From that day our souls were one. He shared with me the tale of Zeratros and the genocide of his kind. I promised him I would have justice. So the war began, a Yaron rallying all as a beacon of hope. Now that hope is long withered. I am but a husk of the hero I once was, and this is the ultimate proof. Yaron may yet return, as he does, but he... he has bade me farewell. So that's literally the whole reason why you did your thing. The dragon that saved your life told you about how bad the gods were, so you were like, yeah, okay, 
Time to kill everything. I mean, that's a fair, I guess. I mean, they definitely had it coming. I, you know, won't get me argue with that. But I mean, that might be a sort of disproportionate reaction. You know, whatever. You do your thing. Anyways, it looks like I already found the Orc Tesla stuff here. Yep, that's it. There we go. I thought this stuff was supposed to, like, light you on fire or something if you stepped on top of it. Like, not just, like, on fire, but, like, really on fire. Like, big ouchy fire. All right, we're just gonna, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna go like that. Oh, what have I done? I thought I took that off a of vein miner. What's going on? Stop. God, I thought I'd get rid of that. No, wrong button. What is this? What is this? How dare you? I must have my auric ore. Oh, God. Ouch. Oh, wow. This ore bites back. Oh, this ore is feisty. Ouch. Oh, you're gonna have to do more than that to keep me away, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come here. Come here, you. Oh, yeah. Bouncy back and forth. We like it. We like it. We enjoy that. All right, well, I've got over a thousand of it. I'm gonna assume that that is all I'm gonna need. I really didn't farm all that much, which is kind of surprising, but it's... I'm not complaining, okay? I'm glad that the final ore that I'm going to need is, uh, it's kind of generous. The last time I'm gonna have to go down there. All right, we got auric bars. All I need is one soul fragment and 60 ore. That's probably why. It's very expensive. Okay. Well... Uh, we can make the quantum cooling cell, which I think will allow me to complete this little doohickey down here. Which, my god, that's been a long time in the making. Is Auric Tesla armor now available to me, or do I have to deal with Draydon first? No, it looks like I can just throw on the, uh, the God Slayer stuff in there, and I'm able to craft it all. Which, it also looks like the Astra Geldon stuff is making a comeback to give me an improved version of it. Yeah, there we go. And it gives me a little bit of extra defense, so we, we got a little bit of a comeback going on right now. Got to make sure I craft the right one as well. And there is the final piece of the set. My God, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, my God, I got the meteorites back. Oh, look at me. Look at me and my power. Radiating. Not really so sure I like that helmet that much, but, it, you know, the rest of it's pretty neat. Spawn healing auric orbs and enemy hits. Rogue stealth builds while not attacking and slower while moving up to a max of 130. Be able to perform a stealth strike, of course, only reduces when you attack. Okay, it's kind of giving me a little bit of a rundown on stealth. I mean, honestly, I feel like if you made it this far into the game and you're playing a rogue and you're just like, oh, is that how stealth works? Oh, wow, that's kind of funny. That's good that you put that there, though. That's that's very amusing. Okay, freeze enemies nearby when you strike, big damage, lots of health. Okay, all the good stuff. I right, will throw that back down there. Uh, actually, uh, nothing to throw down. Never mind, I lied to you. I know this Auric Tesla stuff does a lot. Zenith requires auric bars now? Okay, if you say so. Celestial tracers, I can upgrade that stuff. Didn't have those on for... I had, okay, I had those for one boss fight. Boy, oh boy, that it's really necessary that I upgrade these. Okay, whatever. Celestial tracers, we got them. They're menacing as well. That cannot be upgraded any further. The sponge cannot be upgraded any further. What do these wings look like? Oh, wow, there we go. It's kind of flashy looking. Not bad, not bad. Does it look with the dye? Oh, that's cool with the dye. I actually really like that. I'm a big fan of the Astral Swirl die. It's my favorite flavor of ice cream. Astral Swirl. Just gotta check through all this stuff to make sure there aren't any new upgradable accessories. I mean, I might have missed something pretty good chance. Seared Pan. Seraphim. My god, am I getting... Uh, you know, I barely even got to use any of these weapons, and I'm already getting replacements for them. What is going on? Okay, sure, why not? We'll craft it. Sure. Seraphim, the final upgrade for this thing that I've been holding on to for so long, the Shattered Sun, Radiant Star, all the way back down to Prismaline and the Crystalline, the Wolfram Knife. We got the Seraphim now. We'll craft that bad boy. Oh yeah, that thing's beautiful. Look at that. Rapid Fire Spears. Looks like it actually kind of does the same thing as the Wraith Wing. I don't know. This is upgradable. The Scarlet Devil. Now, this is something that I kind of vaguely remember. It's an endgame item, but I remember this thing being ridiculously powerful. Seraphim throws an extraordinarily fast dagger, slows down exponentially, and dissipates into light. Six fast-splitting blades that aim at and slice nearby targets are released, along with a large laser beam. Uh, I don't even know. I put this stuff on. I guess I'm not really using the Eradicator at all. But I should, can I use the Marsami yet? Oh yeah, now I can. Honestly, I should just forget the whole rogue thing and just be true melee now. Unless this thing got nerfed into oblivion. I kind of heard that it did. This thing is exciting, though. Wow, 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 wow. Swing, 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 swing. If you need sound effects for any future modded projects, let me know. I got all kinds. Oh, and I okay. So now, oh, I can upgrade this even further. I want the frying pan now, though. I want up. I want this thing. Give me that, or the seared pan, not the frying pan. My mistake. 
damage is rather consistent. A frying pan at high velocity. Enemy hits summon fireballs that linger around the target. Landing three consecutive hits launch a golden pan. They cause all fireballs to aggressively home in on the target. Acts similar to golden pans that explode in golden sparks. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, cool. We've upgraded that. And now we've got the dynamic pursuer. Any other items that I should know about to upgrade? Any of these things at all? Okay. Dynamic pursuer. That is a lot of damage as well. Processes calculations and fires electricity, which is the upgrade for the tracking disc. I don't remember whether or not that thing was really good. It's been a while. Okay, we'll get this thing all charged up here. Oh, look at the damage. Look at the number. Stealth strikes allow the disc to ricochet multiple times and unleash an electric explosion. And fire inaccurate lasers when returning. Okay, that's cool. Almost done. My god, this thing's got a lot of charge. And the dynamic pursuer. So the thing flies so fast that I don't even really get to see it. Giant, super powerful boomerang, though, so that's good. Definitely gonna hold on to that, I guess. I don't know. Well, with that done, let's go place down the relic, and then we will finalize the last of this little, uh, Dradon communicator down there, or whatever that thing is supposed to be. There we go, we will place down this right here. That is really awesome looking. Potential resprite for the dragon there, in case anybody doesn't, uh, know about that. Which, of course, by now you should probably have that figured out. All the relics are basically what the resprites could have been or were going to be at one point, but I don't know if it got cancelled or just stopped being worked on. I'm not exactly sure how that works. But anyways, let us throw on the quantum cooling cell. And there we go. This thing is powered up. Contact. I think it's time to move this thing out into the open sky. Codebreaker base. Computer. Oh god, I gotta put all this stuff together in there. What? I don't know the pieces that come next. And contact. Hello there. Tiny laser beam. Oh. Greetings. Hello there. I have waited a long time for this moment. Your nature fascinates me, for I do not understand it. You will face my creations which have surpassed gods, and you will show me your disposition through battle. Now, choose. <laughs> Eh, we got the, uh, Thanatos, a serpentine terror with impervious armor and innumerable laser turrets, uh, Ares, a heavyweight diabolical monstrosity with four exo super weapons, and Artemis and Apollo, a pair of extremely persistent automatons with unstable energy reserves. Well, boy, that sure does sound exciting, but, uh, have you considered... Yeah, no, I think I'm good. Thanks for the offer, though. I really appreciate it. So, yeah. Okay, that's cool to see what that does. And that must be the beginning of the Exomex boss fight. Which I suppose I could probably give a go to, but I feel like I've been recording for a good while already, so I think I'm actually gonna call it an episode here. Although, I don't know. I may end up... Well, there's only two bosses left. I might end up just making the final episode out of that. We'll make this a 40-episode Let's Play. It sounds like it could be a fun time. Before I take those two guys down... Or, I guess, a robot and... Which, guess we'll find out when we read the lore after we kill her. But anyways, like I said, with all this new power, we're advancing very rapidly, and it's nice to see the Catalyst mod just kind of give me the ultimate armor set, which I'm kind of wondering if it's not just gonna allow me to pulverize these next two bosses. I don't know. I mean, it's given me 326 defense, which, I mean, that certainly lets me pack a punch. I'm only rogue. Like, I can only imagine if I was melee and I went, like, a true melee full defense build. That could be... wow. But anyways, I'm kind of getting bombarded with a lot of information right now, a lot of new items, a lot of new stuff, weapons, armor, and all that, so if there's anything really good that I missed, I will check the wiki, and I'll make sure I check the right wiki, don't worry, I know that fandom is, well, it's something. If you've been on there and you look, listen, I'll let you experience that for yourself. I don't know anybody that hasn't been bamboozled by it, but I'll take a look around, see if there's anything new that I could craft. And uh, I want you guys to let me know if there's anything else that I might need to prepare myself for the final leg of this journey. We are on the home stretch. And now there's a new custom soundtrack in the background, it sounds like. Sort of sounds like it has a little bit of uh, a few of the themes of the original, like, the, the music box that you get when you spawn in. Like, it's sort of like, uh, we're coming to the end now. And my god, it has been quite a journey across many different landscapes, fighting many different bosses. It's almost over. The longest Let's Play I've done to date definitely been an interesting time but we're not done yet more to come in the next episode which may very well be the last episode thank you guys for sticking around those of you that did i realize that the calamity mod may not be this particular uh, community's most loved mod ever but i'm glad that you stopped by to check it out so far and if you're still watching thank you very much i appreciate it but like i said a million times already i think i'm gonna call it an episode here guys so 
Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.